Something I get asked all the time is how do you do stuff in Tableau? But one of the things I do a lot in response to that is I send links to the Tableau documentation to those questions. And a lot of people actually find that useful. So I always wonder, hey, um, do people know how to find the right documentation for the version of Tableau that they have? I've actually just done a video on versions of Tableau. Check that out. In this video, I'm going to show you how to always find the right documentation for the version of Tableau that you're using. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so I'm here on the Tableau website. This is actually the best place to start. But what I must say is that it's actually quite hard to get to this place. So you must sort of remember this journey um, to this location to always end up in the right place. It's only a couple of clicks. The first thing you need to do is to go to this resources tab. The resources tab is just over here at the top. So you go to the resources tab, uh, open that up. And if you go down to support, um, you can also find another link here that says Tableau Help. Now, you could just Google Tableau Help and it will get you there as well. So if I click on that, you'll see that it takes me to Tableau Help. If I Google Tableau Help, you'll see that it's actually the top link here and I end up in roughly the same place. So whichever method you want to take, um, do that. I tend to prefer the website version because sometimes they change the website and what can happen is Google rankings and Google search responses take time to adapt to websites. So I always like to go from Tableau's website for that reason. Now, when you get to this page, it's really important that you understand what version of Tableau you're using because if you don't understand the version, you'll get the wrong documentation. Documentation can change from release to release, especially when a new feature has been added that fundamentally changed the behavior. For example, if you were looking at data connections prior to the data model, you would have missed a whole swathe of documentation around the data model if you'd picked the wrong documentation. So the way to know that you're using the right version is number one, know the version of Tableau that you're using. And then number two, head to this tab and make sure you select that version before you do anything else on this page. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's hit this little drop down here and you'll see that it actually has quite a few versions going all the way back to 2018.2. And what you can do once you've picked the version is you'll see that all the links update. And now that you've selected that link, anything you click on now will be for specifically that version of Tableau. So for example, if I go here to Tableau Prep and I select what's new, it will actually send me to the version of the release for that particular version. In fact, in this particular case, it hasn't done that. The website's mucking around with me <laughs> because I'm trying to do a demo. But if I actually go back to, let's say, 21.2 and we go to something like desktop and I go to what's new, you'll see that it actually goes to 21.2 in this particular case. So that's number one. It's super important to get this. Now, sometimes I end up going into an environment where I have no access to the Internet, but I still like to have the documentation with me. So I think of those situations ahead of time. And what I do is I go and grab them from the Tableau website. Now, this can be a little bit hit and miss because sometimes not all the versions have the correct PDFs. But if I go to the latest version for 21.4 here and I go to, let's say, desktop, if I select the PDF, fingers crossed, we actually get the right PDF here for the right version. So you can see that the link at the top is updating. It's downloading it. And here we have the documentation as a PDF. And for the record, this is uh, 3,567 pages. So uh, this is not <laughs> the kind of thing you want to print out, but it's actually quite handy if you know exactly which section of this documentation you're going to need in the work that you're doing to make sure that you're doing it correctly. I tend to do this more for Tableau Server than for Tableau Desktop, but that's just something to be aware of. Keep a copy of this in Evernote in case the Tableau website goes down and you need to be able to search this quickly. I just tend to keep a version of this on my machine at all times and I know to find it in Google Drive or whatever you keep your files in. And it's a really nice way of sort of backing yourself. Now, the final thing I will say about all of this is that the version of Tableau really, really matters. And I just don't mean the version number. If you're looking at Tableau Server Help, be sure to make sure you look at the right operating system. So you can see here that Tableau Server has a version for Linux and it has a version for Windows. Now, in most cases, the documentation is going to be the same across both OSs. But in cases where you're managing infrastructure, Linux and Windows have completely different requirements and they are run in a completely different way. Even though the core of Tableau is fundamentally the same in both products, it's going to require slightly different expectations and slightly different environment variables to manage. That's the final thing I'd say with this documentation. Make sure that you're paying attention to the differences and make sure you're using the latest and great, greatest information. Now, Tableau documentation is extremely thorough. I can't tell you how many times people in comments to my videos ask me a question and I literally, I literally highlight the question, I copy it, I paste it in Google, hit enter, and the first hit is a knowledge base article 
from Tablet. It happens all the time. I don't I don't tell people. I don't send a, you know, let me Google that for you link because that's just facetious. But nonetheless, nearly all the time, Tableau has a help guide or a KB knowledge base article that will help you. Let's say that I'm struggling with dates. Um, let's just search that. How to format dates in Tableau. Okay. Now, if I hit that, you'll see that the first hit is a Tableau help page. And guess what? It's in the documentation that I've just shown you. If you look at this little uh, bookmark link tree, if you work all, all the way back here, it goes back to the Tableau help page. Okay, So nearly everything on Google actually finds its way back to this particular thing. Another thing to look out for is sometimes the knowledge base articles. And these URLs tend to start with KB just here. So let me see if I can actually find one in here that might be useful. Let's. Um, uh, let's just let me just search KB on the end of it. And yeah, exactly. Google's really clever. It knows what I'm looking for. It knows that if I type KB, I'm actually looking for the knowledge base article. And if I go to this, this is formatted in a slightly different way. Knowledge base articles are designed to be solutions to problems, very specific problems to save you having to go to documentation. And they're designed to be search friendly. So they look slightly different. You typically have uh, the date when this was last modified or updated, some related information on the right hand side. And then if I scroll down, you have the question, the environment, and then the answer. And you tend to have more than one option. You don't typically just have the one option. You can do it in a couple of ways. And then there's a little sort of ask at the end. Did you, did this resolve your problem? Yes or no? You hit yes or no. That helps Tableau know that their feedback is know that their answers are doing what they're supposed to, answering questions, and if not, they improve it. That's how this works. So those are all the ways you can find help or find documentation for any particular problem in Tableau. I'm showing this because I'm going to start linking to this video when people ask me how I know something or how I've used something because it just happens all the time. Even people who've been using Tableau for years will ask me, how do I know how something works? Where did I find it out? And I always say the documentation. Thanks for watching. If you've liked this video, put a like, hit a subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see instead if you don't like it, and I'll catch you in the next video.